to take that off to your baby hmm? in its nest? They eat the food and uh, then they fly off with some in their beak and then they come back. They feed the baby and then they come back for more. This goes on and on until they've had enough or I run out of food, one or the other. <laughs> oh, we'll stand up and see if we can see where you're coming from because I can't see from down there when I'm sitting down. You're the only one left, are you? Where's everybody else? Oh, here comes one. Hello, back again. Oh, come and eat down here. Oh, there's another one. There's five kookaburras in all. I'm not going to put it up there. I'm going to throw it down here so you can come and help yourself down here. And that's it. going to take that bit away by the looks of him. Oh, here comes another one. And there. Uh, where'd the other one go? Right, they're all very noisy tonight. Talking to each other. And off he goes to the nest. <laughs> Is that right? You're going to fly off with that in your beak? Off you go. Where are you going? Now we're going to sit in the tree. Did you hear that? They're calling each other. Talking kookaburra. One left. What are you going to do with your bit? Are you going to eat it or are you going to take it as well? Anybody else coming back for more or is that it? Can I go now? You're going? Okay, bye. You're welcome. G'day guys, welcome back. Look what I've got. Uh, I had this idea. I, I don't know if it's gonna work. But I bought this, um, it's a, like a plasticky PVA, like a placemat. Isn't it gorgeous? It's silver. And that's, so that's the top. It's kind of curved, rounded. That's the back. It's very flat. So I'm going to put that side down, like so. And I'm going to pour resin on this. So, and I'm going to like form it into a bowl. Well, I'm going to try. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to put like darker blue in the center. And I think what I'll do is I'll use my piping bag. I don't mind if the colors all blend, but it'll be kind of darker in the middle and it'll get lighter and lighter and lighter. And I may even put some just alcohol ink around the edges there. And hopefully all the colors will kind of blend. It'll be blues and turquoises and aquas. But the problem I have, or had, maybe still have, is when I pour resin onto this, it's just going to run underneath. So first of all, I got a piece of um, contact paper, you know that sticky paper with the lines on the back and you can wrap your school books or line shelves and things with that. I thought that would work. Um, it was black, it was, you know that sticky stuff? So I poured a bit of resin on there and then I waited for it to set and I peeled the resin off so it didn't stick but this is sticky like the stickiness came off the contact paper you can see where it's still sticky on the sides there but all the stickiness came off there and is now on my piece of resin I've tried cleaning it off with um, alcohol it doesn't work so can't use that so then what else can I use to stick it down 
So I messaged the lovely Sharon Lindley from Vivid Days. Hi, Sharon. And I said, Sharon, basically help. What can I use? Because she's been doing resin for years and years. You know, I've only been doing it for months and months. I think seven months now. And um, so anyway, I said, what can I put, what can I stick this down on? And we thought, well, I can't really, I, we can't really put like a thin layer of resin on there to stick it because I want to be able to bend it into a bowl. So it's, it, that's not going to work. So then Sharon said, what about if you hot glue the edges? And I thought, yes, I'll try that. So I tried it on just a little piece um, and I waited for it to, to dry and then I peeled it off and it worked. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm sorry that was a bit long-winded, but that's what I'm going to do. So this is my, this is my big boy <laughs> heat gun, uh, glue gun, not a heat gun. So basically, I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm only going to do along the edges, and it's going to take me a while. So I'll get started, and then uh, um, you know I'll turn the video off. You don't need to see me do that. There's a bug. Um, and then hopefully when I pour resin in, it's only going to be a very shallow resin I think. I may even try to build it up a little bit with the hot glue to make like a wall. So here we go. So that um, I can actually maybe pour the resin a little bit deeper. Do you know what I mean? So I'm basically going with the glue. I'm grabbing the edge of this PVC placemat. And I've just got a sheet of plastic. It's actually just one of the um, plastic bags that I, when I send my moulds off, I put my moulds in one of these big plastic bags and send it off. So it's just one of those. It's nothing special. Doesn't matter if you go a bit blobby as long as I'm touching the edge there. So there we go. I have to keep on releasing my little trigger. So I'm not quite sure if I should be putting the glue on the actual edge of the silver placemat or just next to it. But if, if I go next to it, then I've got a risk that it's you know going to get under there. So... So there we go. Oh. All right. Um, I'm going to do the rest. I'm going to let it set overnight. And I'll be back tomorrow. And we'll pour in this baby. See you then. I'm back. It's the next day. And my hot glue is nice and set. Uh, I made, I don't know if you can see this, I pulled the plastic nice and tight and taped it to the side of my board here. Three places on the top and then one on the, the middle there, just so it's nice and stretched. This is still in the center, it's still, you know, able to be lifted up, as you can see. Um, so I am expecting the resin to go underneath. But that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. Because I thought, after I did this, I thought, oh, maybe I put it upside down. Maybe it should have been the other way with the silver down. Um, and then I pour on the top of that. But then you're still going to get the resin going underneath and it's going to cover up all the silver. So there was no point to that either. So we're just going to have a go and see if it works, okay? I've mixed up one cup of resin. I can see some bubbles on the top there. Let's give them a torch. I'm gonna have to be really careful with torching this because it's so thin. It's only gonna be like maybe three millimeters thick, which is tiny. Like it's um it's gonna be not even as thick as that stick. So yeah, because I don't want to go over the top of the silver. I want to be able to see the silver. So, yeah, it's going to be actually thinner than that um, stir stick. I'm using the Platinum Super Clear. And as I said, I mixed up one cup. I have no idea if if I even need a whole cup. I don't know. If I've got some left over, then um, 
I can maybe do a 3D flower with the leftovers, I guess. So, colours. Dark blue in the centre. This is from LBB. My favourite colour is called marine blue. So, I'm going to put some of that in. Let's do a, a full stick. There we go. There's that one. Oh, making a mess. And then the next one is the lighter blue. It's also by LBB. It's called Cobalt. I was deciding which way to do my colours. Um, do I do the dark blue and then the turquoise and then the light blue and then the ink? Or vice versa? Look at this. I'm getting bits of mica powder. I'm going to have to open the jars over, over there where I'm not spilling. So yeah, that's that's the next one, the cobalt. Get a scoop of him. And then for the teal, this is by Artie Sue. It's called Teal. I'm going to open it over here. Do a scoop of you and then I thought for my very edges I hate when you put the lid on and it doesn't go on properly it goes on crooked and then for my very edges I thought I might just do some alcohol ink and I've got the teal there and then I'll have a cup of clear just in case I need to add any more colors I don't want to mix everything now just in case I decide I want more of one particular color so do half a cup of the dark blue, half a cup of the lighter blue, half a cup of the teal. Actually, you're not quite half a cup yet. And then half a cup, oops, half a cup for the ink. And then I'll just leave the rest in there. That's not quite half a cup. That's better. That's more like half a cup. Half a cup for the ink, the pinata in teal. Let's give that a, a shake. Not too, too much colour. We'll just do three drops for now and see what that looks like. Okay. Now, if you don't want to watch me mix these, feel free to fast forward. Just going to take a couple of minutes to mix them up. If you look at the side of the cup, it looks quite blue, doesn't it? But it's called teal. And as long as it's a bluey green, I'm happy with it. I wonder what it's going to look like. I'm so excited to see what it's going to look like. Oh, I hope it works. I hope it doesn't leak. If it does leak, once it's half cured, I'll just snip around the edges and cut off any, you know, resin that's leaked underneath. But hopefully it'll be all right. And then I was thinking, how do I actually pour them in? I was going to go to the trouble of getting um, a little piping bag, you know, like when I do my 3D petals. But then I thought, oh, I can just pinch these and just drop some resin into the ones that I want to drop in. That should work. I don't want to go to the trouble of doing piping bags and cutting holes and, yeah, that's a bit much trouble. Nice and easy to wipe off the plastic, though. I'd have to come back and do another stir because I don't like the, um, the mica powders not mixing properly. You know, sometimes they sink to the bottom if you haven't mixed them properly. So I'll give them a mix, wait a couple of minutes and then come back and give them another mix just before I pour them. Look at that. Isn't that a gorgeous colour? So I thought these would look really nice with the, the silver. I've actually got four of these. They came in a set of four. I bought them on eBay. I have ordered another type as well. 
hasn't arrived yet. It's more intricate. It's going to be, I think it's going to be quite more difficult to do. Quite more difficult. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, let me know, you guys, if anyone's done anything like this, let me know how you did it. Um, feel free to put up a, a photo of it or send me a message with a photo of it. I'd love to see. If you're not already in my Facebook group, Pouring Your Heart Out, you are welcome to join. Join as yourself though, not as your business, if you've got an art business, just for private members. And uh, I'd love to see what you create. The link for my Facebook page is in the description. So is the link for my eBay shop if you want to buy any of my homemade molds. Now, hopefully I've got enough color. Let's get this started. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm just going to put the stick out over there for a minute. Now, that's where the join is of the little cup, so I'm going to pinch it opposite. All right, wish me luck. It's nerve-wracking. I don't know whether to start in the middle or start on the outside. Ooh, maybe I'll do a bit of both and then meet in the middle. Let's see how this is going to go, whether it's going to pour nicely. Actually, I better get... I'm going to get another paper towel to catch the drips, haven't I? Otherwise I'm going to get into a sticky mess if I don't. So the navy in the centre. Oh, goodness, look at that. Three drops. Four drops. Five drops. Well, this might take a while, guys. You might want to come back at lunchtime. <laughs> oh, now, see, that you can't, do, you can't do that. You can't go over. You're not allowed to go over. I don't want you going over. I'm going to have to put, go a little bit slower, especially with these little ones. I just don't want them, I don't want them going over my, my silver. Let's take some out. The whole point of doing this is seeing the silver. They're actually sitting in there. Why are you sitting in there? Why aren't you floating away underneath? This might be really good if you had like a thicker resin, you know? It just kind of stays. Oh god, now I'm shoe fly. This is these little middle ones are a bit tricky. I went over that one as well. I think it'll be easier once I get to the bigger sections. This is where your little baby wipe comes in very handy. You can just wipe off the excess that you've done. Oh my gosh. Just for this middle bit, I think that's going to be a bit tricky. I think the rest of it will be okay. Let's just pop a few drops in. I have to go slower. That's better. It's only really taking like three, three drops really to fill it. So I wipe that one and then I smudge this one. There's not much room in there. I'm so surprised they haven't leaked underneath. I guess maybe they will over time. All right, that one was better. Whoa! Oh no, no, no! Oh gosh. All right, I think, oh no, it's dripping down the side and going into that one. Oh! I think maybe the piping bag would have been easier just for this little center bit. It's all right. I'll, I'll, I'll get there. Just have to do a little bit of wiping up. I was going for that one and then this one, the resin ran down the side of the cup and went into that one. I can't really see what I'm pointing, can you? Look, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do put a drop on the stick. Aha, that works. All right, that's the, all the tiny little ones. Actually, no, there's a couple more tiny little ones. Let's let's do that with the stick again. Oh, that works. Just got a few more little little ones. They only need like two drops. This is like dropping alcohol ink into the petri dish, like what I've been doing recently. <laughs> Dropping them in. There we go. Oh no. See, I've tried to put too much in there. 
I'm not going to get that now. I'm trying to be greedy and put an extra drop in when it shouldn't have. Oh no, now I'm making a more mess. Should have just left it. Fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. Probably shouldn't have started with the middle section first, hey? Now let me just clean this up. Okay. Try not to put too much in. I thought it could handle one more drop, but it couldn't. Oh, look, that's all I've used so far. All right, now the next lot, the next round is um, it's a little bit bigger. <clears throat> Let me see if we're still taping. Oh, 12 minutes already. Oh, hopefully the rest of it won't take as long. Put a little bit in and then let it just sort of center itself. Then I'll come back if I need to put any more in. Concentrating, concentrating. I, I was sure these colours were going to run underneath and blend with the other colours. I was kind of hoping it would. But um, I don't know if they will now. I think they might just stay in their little sections. I guess that's because I've pulled that plastic so taut across and then taped it down. It's not really having much room underneath, but I figured it would. Oh, look, there's a bit of leakage under that one. I just assumed that they would leak. It never occurred to me that they wouldn't. I'd have to actually get um, like a little cotton bud later and just tidy up any little areas that I've spilt on rather than a, a wipe. This one's a bit full. Okay, let's keep going. I have to come around this side so I can see what I'm doing. But yeah, if you've got a, see that's running down there again. If you're doing a tiny little one, use the stick like I did and just put a couple of drops in from the, your stick. Maybe I should put you on um, pause, uh, fast forward for this. <laughs> what do you think? Or are you okay watching in regular time? Don't all yell at once. Okay. Let's just encourage these into the corners there. This works it's going to be absolutely stunning it looks as if I'm actually doming each of these are actually doming which is a really weird some bubbles on that I'm going to give it a really just a light torch like so because I just saw a couple of bubbles just sitting there okay um <clears throat> that's that's enough for now now let's see if we do Do the lighter blue in that one, that one, and that one. No, maybe just, we'll see. Let's have a little look. See what we can do. See, there's little tiny ones again. I'll come back to those. walk around this way as I'm going see there's a tiny one I'm going to use my stick for that one just put a couple of little drops in how does that color look with the, the navy does it look pretty 
and that hasn't gone quite in so we'll just give that a bit of a helping hand oh it's looking so pretty looks like a stained glass window doesn't it okay look you guys um i'm gonna put you on i'm gonna put i'm gonna fast forward the rest because um, I'm just going to concentrate, take my time, so I might not talk very much. So I'll just stop this, put the rest on fast forward, and then I'll come back to you soon. Oh my gosh, that was exhausting, so much harder than what I expected it to be. And my resin was setting up, did you see, it was getting all sticky and tacky. I honestly thought the colours were going to blend, but they haven't, they've just stayed separate. So, well, I guess that's okay, that's, <laughs> that's what's happened. I just thought I would get that lovely darkest to lightest look. I mean, I still have, it's just not what I had envisioned envisioned envisaged I don't know <laughs> oh, I'm so exhausted now some of them overflowed a little bit and I had to just wipe oh there's a little bit there that I have to wipe as well I'm gonna go through and just wipe really carefully if any of them have overflowed onto the silver like that one there but what do you think and look nothing's leaked I can't believe it nothing has leaked at all Wow, there's a bit of rippling there under the under the plastic. So if you pull that a little bit tighter, it may straighten out. Not sure. Well, actually, it might have been the heat that did it. <laughs> I don't know. But look, first time, learned a lot. Wow, that was man. I can't even talk anymore. That was mammoth. I was going to say mammoth and epic at the same time. All right. Um, I'm going to leave it for about three hours now. And then um, I'll be back and we'll put it in its bowl. All right. See you then. I need a coffee. Righto. So it has been... Um, since I stopped stirring the resin, it's been three hours and 45 minutes because I stopped stirring I wrote that down at quarter to 12 and now it's half past three in the afternoon so I've, what I've done is I've just loosened all my my tape so that I can move this and I thought what I might do is just cut around just to make it a little bit easier and get rid of all these bits of tape I'm just going to Cut around here so I don't need all that plastic. It'll just get in the way, won't it? Now I've got a few different sized sort of bowls because I haven't decided what size I want to use yet. Um, I know I don't want 
like really deep sides on this but I don't really have a shallow like a platter a big enough one which would be really nice I would like a shallow platter but I just don't have one maybe next time I'm up at the cheap shop the dollar store I'll see what they've got um, for future resin sculpting all right so that's that out of the way throw that out so it's it's soft when I put a toothpick near it um, like it still will make a little dent and when I touched it it left a fingerprint <laughs> so um, I, I'm not sure if it's like too soft but on the other hand I've left them too late and then I've had trouble bending them so I'm gonna go with it like almost four hours so I'm just going to move this off to the side. Oh no, I can't. No, I can't really because it needs to be flat. I was going to show you the back. I had a little peek at the back. Uh, <laughs> real quick. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to show you what I've got. So the first thing is this tray. Like a serving tray. So let's just see what that looks like. And I don't want to, actually I don't even know how I'm supposed to press it in without touching the resin. I'll just sort of push the, the silver plastic sides. So that's basically, oh see that's a nice, that's a shallow platter. What am I talking about? I don't have one. I've got the the bowl. I can't actually press on it though. Maybe if I put gloves on, but I, I know that if I press on the actual resin, it's going to leave a fingerprint. So, so there's that one. I wish you guys could tell me. I actually like that shape. Okay. I do like that one. Um, now I've got this bowl as well. I'll move this one out of the way. And I've got this, this bowl. So it has to go on the inside. You know, I can't, I can't do that. Well, I could, but then I'd have to put plastic over over this. Oops, we're sticking. But I just want to do it this way. So there's that one. And again, I can't really push it in. And I think the sides are going to be too high for me, so I don't think that one's a goer. I have got a bigger one. This is the, this is the big one that I... When I make caramel popcorn, um, or caramel and cashew popcorn... Um, you, I think you call it candy corn over in the States. I use this one. <laughs> Look at the size of it. <laughs> Mother of all bowls. So there's there's that one. So that's going to give me, I think, a similar look to this one. So we'll put the smaller bowl out of the way because it's out of contention. So we either do this one or with the sides that come up a little bit or we go with that one and it's more of a, a platter so that's sitting on the bottom now I would actually like it to just be round you know how on most of my bowls I kind of get them to do this and you put things under the sides to make them do that but I actually would like it if possible just to be smooth but I don't know that we're gonna get it we might it'll just take me a little a little while because see, it wants to bend so let's see if I can actually get it to sit flat against the sides because that is what I would prefer and I may actually have to just see I've got left a little bit of plastic there so I can actually put some tape there and tape it to the, the side let me just see what this is going to look like let's see if I can get it to see I push that in and then this one's jumping out no can you not all just stay please there we go actually maybe what if I what if I what if I do a little bit and then tape it so it stays? I think I like I think I like the bowl back actually. I do. I'll put it up so you can see it a bit better. Um, I'm just going to grab my masking tape. Stay there. Oh. And I'm going to have to put 
jump holes. I've been rearranging things and now I can't reach my tape. Hang on. Got it. Alright, let's see if this will work. Now, are we in the centre is the question. How do we know if we're in the centre? Go by these two points because these are the two highest points. So they kind of need to be equal. I guess. Let's push one down and tape it. I won't stick it all the way down. I'll just do that for now, just in case I need to move it. And I'll go and do the opposite side. I'm not quite sure when to take the um, the hot glue off. Like I don't know if I should do it now. I think my resin's still a little bit too soft, so I don't want to be messing with it. I think because if I if I miss or scratch it or anything, it's going to make a a dent or a fingerprint or something like that. So I'm just going to leave it for now. Let's see if I can get this to lie flat. I don't really want to put anything on it because it's going to mark. You know, it's, it's soft so it's going to mark so I don't want to do that. And I'm just pushing onto the actual silver. I'm trying not to touch the resin. Here still sitting up even though I've taped it it's still sitting up I might just have to put a few more pieces of tape on but I, I think I've, I think I've left it soft enough that I can still you know do this I keep it bendy seems to be working have to push it down from there. Oops, now tape's stuck. This is painter's tape instead of masking tape. I have got both but I find the painter's tape doesn't stick as hard as masking tape does. I'm going to have to put lots of tape on here I think. Get it to do what I want it to do. To behave itself. So these bits here, they're not actually being, they're not actually pressed down because if I press them down, they're going to want to buckle like that. So I haven't actually pressed them down all the way. I'll just see if, see what we can do. All right, well, I'm going to do all that. You don't need to watch me do all that. This is boring. Um, I'll come back to you when I'm done. Okay, so that didn't work. These, because it's it's curved, it wanted to bunch on the side. And it didn't matter what I did, it didn't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with it and I'm going to let it, these middle ones bend a bit. So let's do... Um, what did I do? I think I did that. Let's just do that. I'm going to cut that in half without cutting myself. I'm going to use these bits of tape mm, that I've still got left. Got one in my mouth. <laughs> and use them just to close that up. And then these, they're all the same size. I'm just going to poke them underneath these, these pointy ones, the tallest ones like that. And that should be enough just to keep them just a little bit bent. Not a lot, just a little bit. Let's do another one. In half, in half, in half. And fold over. I do this and they're going to be all be the same thickness hey 
and I get to use up my leftover tape. And hopefully that will work. Is that a good idea or what? Hey, why not? See, things that you plan with resin, they don't always go as planned. You know, I thought that these colours would all bleed into each other. It did not go as planned. Um, I thought I could have a nice smooth bowl. It did not go as planned. I guess, I guess it could if I did this one. It would. I think it would because it's not as deep. But I, I actually quite like the shape of this one now and I don't actually mind that it's going to have these little pointy bits. I think it'll just add to the interest of it rather than just being a plain round bowl. I think that'll actually add to the interest. So we'll go with that. Um, like I said, I've got another three of these in silver. It was a set of four that I bought. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the other four yet. And the other one that's still arriving, that hasn't arrived yet, I have to figure out something to do with that one too. Now I need one more and I've got two cut. Anybody want one? So I, mean, I don't mind at all if you guys want to have a look on eBay and see if you can find these and, and have a go. Don't mind at all. Maybe just send me a photo, give me some credit for the idea. I think that's always nice if we give credit where credit's due. Hey, let's push those in. Okay, well, I think that's a brilliant idea. I was thinking, what am I going to put down there that's soft? Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now that should just sit there and do its thing. Um, yeah, these aren't going to be too, too sort of pokey, and I don't want that to go down too far or else this is going to droop. So I just want the top of the paper towel at the top of my little silver thing there so that they don't droop out of shape. And there we go. All right, that's me done. I think that's going to be really pretty. What do you think? And then tomorrow, tomorrow we can um, pull the plastic off and fingers crossed that we can get that hot glue off as well. Hey, eh? There may be a little bit of trimming we need to do, but I think we can just snip that. So maybe I can come back a bit later on tonight and see if it's firm enough for me to take the... I don't know, I don't even know if I can get the hot glue off. I don't want to... No, I'm not going to do it now. I'll just ruin it. I'll have to wait till it's till it's set and then I can take it out and peel it off. Otherwise it's just going to... It's too soft. All right. Yay, it's working. I love it. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Hope it dries nicely. I'm back. It's the next day. Let's have a little look at these. Okay, it's hard. So let's get them out. Get the bowl out anyway. Look at that. Wow. I'll keep these little goodies for next time I need to make a bowl. There it is. What do you think? So pretty. Look at it shining. Now the tricky part, hey? I wonder if I can get this. I started loosening it just a touch, just to see if I could do it. And let's have a look. Oh, let's just pull hard. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. My hands aren't in the way. Just. Maybe I can do it up this way so that you can see a bit better. Oh, hands are in the way. It's hard to do it without getting the hands in the way because I've got to get that like that. <laughs> okay, no, I can't do it that way. Um, I just have to do it this way. So basically I'm just going to pull that hot glue off. It is coming off. Look, it is coming off. It's just a bit tricky to do. Maybe if I do it this way. I'm trying to do it so that you can see what I'm doing but I'm getting my hands in the way of the camera. All right, I'm just going to go for it. Let's just 
do it, hey? I need to give it a bit of a tug there. Oops. Careful not to break it. It's only very thin resin. You know, it's about oh, it's only about three mil, I think. Let's so be careful I don't break it. That's a very thin bit there. Move it up a bit so that you can have a better, better view. Alright, let's just peel all this off. It's taking a while. Ugh. I mean, it is glue, you know, it's hot glue, so it is wanting to, to stick. But it just takes a little bit of force. Ah. Right. Anyway, there's part of it done. <laughs> I'll do the rest and um, I won't take plastic off yet. I'll wait for you. All right. I'll be back in a sec when I'll get this done. Right. Last little bit just here. If I'd wait for you to do the last little bit. Some areas stuck a little bit. They're a little bit trickier to get out. These look like these little ones that are quite far down. They're a little bit trickier to get, but um, yay, look, I got it. Let's get rid of that. Yay. Wow, look at it. Do you like it? It's so pretty. Oh, so there might be a tiny little bit of overflow, I guess, on that. Oh, tiny little bits. Like that little bit there that just needs a trim, but honestly, I think it worked <clears throat> really well. There's a tiny little bit there, little tiny bit that I have to get off. I'll just snip that. It's so pretty. Do you like that? Look how it shines. Let's have a look at the back. Oh, so that's okay too. That's what, but you can't see the silver. That's why I had to pour it this way so that the silver was on top because all the resin ran underneath, obviously. So there we go. I'll set it up outside in the sun so you can have a look at it. I really like how I've got these clear, clear little edges there. I think that's really pretty how it goes darkest to lightest. Love it. You guys should have a go. It is a little bit tricky, but um, yeah. It was fun doing. It's a challenge. If you like to do a challenge, then do it. If you're not into little intricate pieces, probably don't do it because it'll drive you drive you crazy, pull your hair out. So, but I had fun. Happy to share it with you. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. And um, I'll see you for the next challenge, whatever it may be. All right. See you soon. Bye for now.